It's Rick Rimbaud, new president. New president in a couple of months. Uh, what a race. What a discrepancy. We get into what went wrong for one side and what went right for the other. We talk about the implications of the nation's choice on the future of the country. And also... As well as stocks. What are going to do well? It's defense and energy and also like Microsoft and NVIDIA. Thanks for watching. You know we love those sweet, sweet stocks, baby. How come you don't want me, man? You know that blue sky that you're looking for? If you want to keep going, I will keep going tonight. What's up? Hello, hello, hello. What's all this thing? Can't beat the fucking clippers. Y'all make me sick with this shit. Well, listen to me. Politicians are a lot like that. You should be changing frequently. frequently. For the same reason. Yo, yo, yo shut yo, the yo, fuck up. I'm trying to listen to Karen Bond. Girl, we find it now. What an intro that one was. Probably the best of all time, if I've ever heard one. Probably the best one I've ever heard. Been a part heard too. Yeah. I was thinking of trying to think of something funny, but that would be yeah. that funny, dude. Good yeah. Yeah. Ricker and Bond. Get up at the laugh Epis factory. Episode 500, whatever. 399 on the numbers, but according really? to the episode, like season episodes, it's far higher than that. Damn. You know, there's How many years? a lot. How many years? Yeah. Well, six, seven, if you two year back, break. Just a quick two year break. Everybody does it. Quick divorce. Breakfast Club, CNBC, <laughs> freaking God, just the worst interface. Spotify, Ricker and Bond coming at you since at least 20, at least 2017, 2016, at least, least. Damn. 15, 16 was the green. It was a house. better time, is what we're saying. Third year was the greenhouse. Yeah, Ooh. Trump was in office. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. He was in office. Damn. Everybody watched that, too. Trumpito's overlord. Get used to it, nerds. Getting old. Oh, yeah. So um, that's in the news. That's the only thing in the news because the mainstream media is trying to shield you from what's really going on. Yeah, so definitely make sure you have your account fired up on Truth Social to oh. get the <laughs> What I uh, uncovered from the depths of the internet was, uh, I think, r slash the Donald, was it? You remember that? No. There was a, a raging Reddit uh, for Trumpito back in the day, and they got kicked off, I think, and now they went to like community.com slash r slash the donald interesting i was gonna say because uh, reddit is literally like a um a liberal vacuum so everyone is losing their mind uh reddit over on reddit and vacuum. then on x it's exactly the opposite i enjoy it well depends on where you look on reddit i was hearing this with another conversation but reddit you go where you want to go but you could go somewhere else to see other views but like if you're tapped into that you'll see it but on like twitter uh, unless you really try to dodge it you'll see freaking all kinds of hoopla but on my reddit dude it's a bunch of soccer and business i was gonna say i, I popped on to, to linkedin one of my favorite social medias oh and... yuck <laughs> there's a there's a I, I clicked on a live of someone i watched and, and it was about trading the headline and then the guest that was on was like the most important thing about crypto is self-custody and i rolled my eyes and i was like what is, it? is this what we're doing we're back at this well yeah because all, there's always new all, people coming in all the time while we're back at it sure but like, you know like yeah. that was that was my thing with like and I think about this all the time when I was doing my crypto videos thing. I was like, I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but yeah. every day, like new people like come into crypto. So you're right, man. I was being a convergent, convergent, but it's... yeah, man, check your priv, bro. 
Not everyone's been in crypto since. Not everyone had a cool roommate in college that got him into crypto early, dude. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, wait, did you give me into Bitcoin? <laughs> uh, probably not, but I was on it at 2014. I was betting with Bitcoin. Oh, uh, okay. But I didn't know it as anything as an investment. I don't even think I knew it as an investment until LA. I think Damn. so. Or not. Really? Because I was big into it junior Is it possible? year. Okay, well. Or or senior year, I think. There it is, dude. There it is, senior I year. was like, bro, this is the future, dude. It was cheap back then. It was like five grand. Oh, dude, I was betting point, point oh one was like 10 bucks, dude. Oh, shit. I first heard about it. I first heard about it was 14 bucks. This was like 2010, 2011. Bitcoin going crazy right now. Is this the first Bitcoin or pro Bitcoin president? Uh, yeah, it's only existed <laughs> for like now, uh, but yeah. Um, it's existed through three presidents. But has it existed Oh, it hasn't been like mainstream. out of people's mouths? Biden could have embraced it, but I feel like I feel like uh, Democrats are kind of scared of crypto, low key. Sure. Why do you say that? Um, Kind of like scary free market stuff. because they can't control it. Yeah, I don't know. Where did the Dems drop the ball, dude? Let's let's talk it like the sport, dude. One of my favorite uh, writers and journalists was Hunter S. Thompson, but I liked the political stuff he wrote because he kind of just talked about politics, like basically like sports and stuff of like analyzing. And a lot of people do this, but it was it was like you think about a sport or a, a political campaign and you're like strategy and blah blah blah, and like oh they dropped the ball on this, blah blah blah, they lost points, blah blah blah. Uh, but, uh, where'd the Dems drop the ball, dude? Why did, why did Cammy, why did Cammy lose? Uh, I think it was a combination of things. The biggest being, um, like two, three month campaign. Short. Very short. I, I really didn't, I, 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 I didn't think, cause I was still like, I was a little surprised by Trump winning, but I still, you know, I think he had I wasn't. um, Okay, I I I thought he was gonna win, but I was surprised by the the margin. Right, right, right. I was like, wow. Like, look, if you looked at California, bro, California was pretty red. I was like, dude, like. There was there was a stat that all but two states at least progressed more Republican than than last voting cycle. Yeah. And my takeaway from this was because to me, like Trump was like, he really didn't do anything different. Um, But it, it said more about it said more about Democrats or like view of Democrats as a whole. So. Back to the campaign. First of all, started super late. Had a two, three month campaign. Secondly, um, the Democrats were lying to everybody, telling that, telling them that Joe Biden was mentally able to run for president for the longest time when Kamala's campaign could have started way earlier. Um, so they kind of fucked her over there. And secondly... She's already pretty unpopular. I don't know if you remember when she was running against Joe Biden back in the day. She only had like 4% of the vote. And then I feel like they made her vice president to appeal to women and minorities. So it was kind of like forced to us. So already unpopular. And then third, like no primary um, election for her. So nobody voted for her. She was just given to us. So people didn't really have time to die, digest it, really think about it. Everything she was saying was anti-Trump. She wasn't really like saying any of her own ideas, I feel like. This is what it was, dude. So 2016, Trumpito comes in, just the opposite of politician and just is like jokes and calling people gay and stuff. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Not that, but, you know, like coming in just and being funny on freaking uh, debates. Gets in the office. Plus, like, hella inequality equals populist leaders usually, but, you know, This goes into the populism leisure of a, a fun guy that's freaking a New York, might as well be a New York Jew that's like making fun of people. Um, does that for 2016 or whatever he got in office, it was 2016. Not politician y. Gets in office, Mm-hmm. four years of president. Um,
Did he face off against Biden again? It was first Hillary, who we beat, and then it was Biden, who we lost to. But he went up against him? Yeah, in 2020, or 2019. One in 2019, Biden assumed office in 2020. Okay. He comes back in this cycle. More inequality. COVID happened. Poor people poor. Rich people richer. Uh, oh, wait, maybe. sorry. No, he won in 2020, right? Sorry. Okay. I'm like a year off. But anyway, go. Go for it. Whatever. Come in. Joker becomes somewhat politician y. This time, wider margins between people in the country. Uh huh. Inflation because of COVID and stuff. Um, and debt still. Kamala comes in, tries to mm. do Trump playbook. And basically, that's like kind of all she had. Just freaking influencer marketing, tried to buy people celebrities, which doesn't sway people. <laughs> I don't need the Avengers to <laughs> tell me who to vote for, bro. Like, come maybe, on. Even like on 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 the red side of freaking having like Rogan Universe, I like like that's gonna sway people. Like, well, like I, 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 I so? I'm glad you bring that up because I do think that swayed people. How or so? some, well, no, I don't think it swayed people because I feel like most Joe Rogan people are, were gonna vote for Trump but anyways. But on Theo and like the other football podcast. Well, he was go. Yeah, he was going to. Well, podcasts right now are fucking like they are i don't want i don't want to like misquote or anything but podcasts are super fucking popular right now like everyone listens to podcasts and i feel like his team understood that so he was going on all these podcasts and kamala was doing legacy media cnbc you know like tv stuff and that shit is dying and people don't get their news there anymore do because late. they don't trust it i feel like the... huh oh like late night shit you know like people no, don't fucking want to trump administration like late in the election cycle did the podcast it was like three months ago two months ago yeah well i don't know also i don't know if you heard so trump did like a three-hour interview on joe rogan mm -hmm. and joe rogan was trying to get kamala on there yeah um and she was like okay you got to come to me and we can only do an hour and he was like no like come to me we can do a three-hour uncut interview yep. like it's just like you can just talk like and i'll just listen i won't say anything because she didn't go on there, I feel like she fucked up because that was a chance for her to convert possibly a lot of people that weren't going to vote for her or at least have them hear her out. And who listens to Joe Rogan? Young men that were probably going to vote for Trump. So she fucked up there. For some reason, she decided to go on CNBC that only gets 5,000 views besides the biggest podcast in the world. Yeah. You know, so. I think because he also got more popular votes than last time he ran in one. Um, I think one of my theories is a lot of the like our age, twenty eight year olds that maybe didn't vote in sixteen or twenty voted for Trumpito now, just because like I don't know, maybe they think that Republicans will do less debt in the world. Uh, what was it? In... Oh, sorry. Go for, go for it. What was it? What was an interesting stat? It was like something like forty six percent of women voted for Trump this time. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I don't know. One of my theories was like, and this is kind of dumb, but like self-loathing of like cats would rather want like a white dude than a freaking chick in there. Do you think so? Because I, 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 I feel like there were some, I feel like there were some maybe, but I, 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 I genuinely don't feel like her being a woman was as big a part of it as people play it out to be. Yeah. I feel like, a lot of people would welcome a woman president if like she resonates with the country and pre uh, vice president Harris just to me didn't resonate with people the way that like Obama did, you know, like, yeah. So anyways, she, from what I've kind of seen, it's not like I was tuned into everybody's like moves on the political campaign, but didn't really say like, the cut and dry policies and was kind of just bashing like he did in like 2016 to people but he on this time was like ooh yay borders yay freaking taxes and stuff like typical politician policy stuff um and i don't know people probably were not thrilled with biden as a president a lot of things too i think there's a healthy amount of women that are like yo i 
don't want to go to the bathroom and have there be a dude in there, you know? That was also one of the theories of, like, the Dems do go way too hard on, because it was super public of, like, LGBT stuff. Mm-hmm. Maybe that swayed a lot of people. 7% of the people are, like, gay, so maybe you get 10% of the people. Yeah, you know, that's that's also a thing, too. Like, everyone in L.A. is like, oh, I don't know what happened. And I'm like, bro, like, there's other, like, not everyone in the world or in the country is, like, or every part of the country is like Los Angeles, you know? Like, progressively, yeah. like, culturally, L.A. is, like, 20, 30 years ahead of, like, fucking towns in Kansas. Today, yeah. So, um... And I, I, I do think Trump understands that fucking J.D. Vance said something along the lines of, I'm like, like, we are appealing to, like, the gay, the gay people that aren't, yeah. like, super, like, out there and look at me, you know? Oh, and, you know, and that's a huge, that's a huge population. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, like, that could have, if they had all voted the other way, like, she yeah. could have won. So... Fun stuff. Uh, Just little things, you know, little things to learn from. I do think uh, it is. It is. Uh, I think just you know, pendulum swinging of yeah politicians going back and it's like. And also, the biggest thing I think another huge thing is uh, fucking. I don't think people like it, or I don't think half the country likes it when the other half is telling them that they are immoral bad people fucking the devil fucking whatever when maybe they're just frustrated that they can't afford fucking milk you know yeah or they don't like 50 percent of their money going to ukraine or whatever you know like yeah. there's other issues at play here yeah hilarious that the thought of trump people saying normal things which is why i'm saying like 2016 pretty much joking on debates and kind of saying the same thing of like we're gonna help out middle class and whatever as politicians usually do but um yeah the whole argumentative politician probably died with this election would Hope. you consider this a sweep i mean i think the biggest i've seen eh yeah, biggest of my lifetime. Bro, California was so fucking shocking to me. If you look at a map of California versus now, versus yeah. 2020, San Bernardino is huge. It's like almost all of Southern California, and it turned red. Yeah, I think it's people trying to get like more middle. And right now, like left is lefter, and right is a little more middle. Yeah, and the center don't know where to fall, but like... Yeah. The center are just like, okay, both sides are crazy. Yeah. But like which one is like a little bit rational. Like, like maybe saying things that might affect my life. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ex yeah, exactly. Like it Why? couldn't People, have put it better. If you go to the if you dev stuck with classic politician, grab like six talking point playbook, then probably helps their case. Yeah. Jeez. It's so yeah, um, get me in, get me in there, Dems. I got you, dude. Let me get that playbook. Isn't it great? We live in a country where, okay. Also, because I was gonna say like we could just transfer power peacefully. Loki, like I really wish what happened. I know what happened last what? time didn't happen. I I there I think there would have been a lot bigger possibility of that happening again if Dems win. Do you think so? There's at least more a possibility of if Dems winning, that happens again. Worse. Did they check your ID when you voted? <laughs> oh, of course. All right. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, you're a yeah, not, not, And I saw a post on LinkedIn of a Canadian citizen went to a San Francisco voting place and didn't use an ID. Yeah, bro. Like, <clears throat> I don't understand, check mine. understand how that got was a talking point either. We, oh, it, because it they think it's the they day, think but... it's fucking racist that yeah, that's you have to check crazy. ideas. <laughs> I could have gone in and said I'm John Ricker and given your address and voted as you. Yeah, that's that's weird. <laughs> yeah. So I'll get back to normalcy and thinking a little bit. Folks. Let's use our brains a little bit. I didn't idea to Dana get into White. Costco, but to did vote, I don't have to. Did you see Dana White at his like night 
uh, acceptance speech the night of? No. He was just freaking glazing, man. Dude. It was a little cringy. He was like shouting out the podcast stuff. Oh, God. That part was a little bit too much idiocracy for me. He's like, I'm going to make so much fucking money, dude. I mean, like, how are you going to get more money than under your freaking Trumpito administration with the UFC fights? Yeah, I don't know. Sure. I also don't, like, Probably for I'm not sure how I feel about uh, Elon being, like, butt buddies with him now. That's the... Like, so it's like Elon worked for the gov now, or like huge uh, conflict of interest. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing like a global South African uh, capitalist that has hands in every other country to be right next to your president, dude. Dude, I bet him, Trump, and Putin have Zoom calls weekly. <laughs> We're back at it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Worse than last time. <laughs> I kind of, dude, I honestly don't like. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't fucking remember his last I, like term. I think it was really. a lot crazier than what we remember. <laughs> was it? Like what was going on? Did anything besides COVID? Like I mean, I think he was dude, the Twitter stuff. Please stay off a of social this time. Can we rein in that a little bit? The what? Him but just posting on Twitter at like two AM in the morning. Trump? Yeah. Does he do that? I don't follow. That was like his whole shtick last time. Oh, oh yeah. Well, that was back when Twitter was controlled by the fucking gov. <laughs> sure. Too. Uh, yeah. Even uh, Mark. Even Mark Zuckerberg said, "Yeah, they, they had us by the nuts during." <laughs> like uh, whatever you say, Daddy Biden. I would enjoy a president not midnight tweeting. Uh, that'd be fun. He's trying to post for his uh friends in China because they're up sure. right now. Yeah. So. Tech, apparently better, less regulation. Um, I wrote down some notes. He wants tariffs. Tariffs isn't going to do anything like good, and it doesn't hurt China. If tariffs go on China, it's like 1% to 3% of their GDP, if that's the point. Um, all the, most of the tech CEOs tried to suck up to him. Um, a little more Microsoft and other people in meta um mass deportation you think that's gonna happen yeah so like they just got cats that don't have ids or any paper trail and they're gonna kick them out how does that work i don't know but apparently it would cost 88 billion dollars yeah, that like it's just it's legit the economy of people working yeah it's probably not gonna happen but i don't get the logistics. like you have a list of them I don't know. Maybe it's going to be like, like literally, like he the sends ID. the Gestapo on people. Yeah, and he's like, let me see your ID. I would, uh, that he's going to tell fucking strategy. Musk to put Neuralink in everybody and they're going to go up and scam people. Yeah. Big brother. I'd, oh, I'd, shit. I'd probably be not stoked on the police force trying to ask for IDs. Uh, but, you know. I kind of I don't I don't know the strat on that, but it also has not seemed great for like American. I feel like we were real close to them walking around asking if, for our vax cards a few years yeah. ago. <laughs> but you know, I guess it's a little bit different. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Is it? <laughs> is it? I don't know, dude. Cre could we create a virus to make people listen to us? Let's see what's the. Uh, um, what if COVID happened again? LOL. <laughs> <laughs> same, same stuff happens, but other people are mad. Yeah. Gee. Oh fuck. LOL. Um. Meta. Antitrust stuff. Apparently, he like wasn't stoked on companies kind of making it more costly for people to do stuff. I'm saying that because it's in my memory and I don't have it in front of me. Anyways, uh, proposed tariffs, 10% universal, 100% on China, which affects tech, affects Apple, apparently less for Tesla, but I don't see how you pass 100% tariff on a country. Um, yeah, how does that mean? So like for every, like you ship a $100 product, you get taxed 100 bucks? 
Uh, maybe I can ask other people, but either way, don't know the gist of that. He <laughs> said back in the day, uh, we should charge Taiwan for our security services. And there was a paragraph I was reading. It's like, uh, if China takes this the wrong way, <laughs> uh, all, they could cut off all the chips that are in Taiwan, try to take over Taiwan, which could really affect the global economy. I kind of want to read it because it was funny, but it was such a funny paragraph of like, yeah, if China takes this the wrong way, it's kind of like a world war. Um, We're just humans at the end of the day. <laughs> sure, <laughs> dude. Really big bombs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, speaking of that, defense, probably going to do great. Um, legacy energy probably does great. A little less on green stuff, but I also don't understand how that helps Tesla. If you're still in the EV section, but you're buddied up within an administration. Um, uh, maybe opposition to the CHIPS Act, which was a Biden-era law supporting domestic semiconductor, produ semiconductor production. Um Preferring tariffs to promote U.S.-based chip manufacturing. I don't know why you would be opposed to that as an administration uh, on short semiconductor production. Sounds like a really smart idea. <laughs> um, probably more expensive, but... Who was against it? Uh, apparently, Trump in the past might be opposed to this chip. Uh -oh. Uh, but I I don't really think that's true. Um, dominance in AI, potentially limiting China's access to U.S. technology and chips. I do think that will probably be a thing. Biden had an AI regulation order that he might be opposed to. I'm not sure what that is. Social media in Section 230, 230 shields tech platforms from liability for user content. I think he, Trump tried to do that in the past and potentially people theorizing he might do it again. Shields uh, tech so. companies from generation of or liability of user content. He's for that? Yeah, he tried to put that in. So that would be more lawsuits for Meta and Google. So put them on the line for user content. That might be bad. Um, Australia banned social media for kids under 16 or 12. Probably 12. Good. <laughs> should be 18. But should it be a federal law in a country like the United States? Um, I mean, drinking's a federal law. One could argue that the harmful effects are, of drinking are just as bad as the mental health effects of long-term social media usage on the developing mind of a child. Alcohol is probably less healthy, but there is a lot of mind development that goes into social media. Uh, cats being for that, for federal law. I, kind of I don't think it should be like federal, but maybe like maybe, well, it would be easier to do federal than to do states, you know? Sure. Um, potentially TikTok ban he tried last time or US acquisition uh, I'm for that I suppose but I don't really use TikTok um, pro crypto he uh, wants some mining in the US uh, I think he has voiced his opinion on wanting a national Bitcoin reserve which is interesting we so, won baby I still kind of think Crypto is a an attack on U.S. dominance of currency. Hey, don't fuck crypto. Bitcoin, baby. Sure, sure. Bitcoin. Same. Hey, fuck everything else. Fuck ETH. Fuck Cardano. Fuck all that shit. Bitcoin for life. He doesn't like... Trump doesn't like the FTC chair. Um, known for challenging big tech. Which Gary Gensler? No, not, uh, not SEC. Oh, dude. You saw that clip? Lovely clip. What Gensler, clip? Gensler was like, uh, people in Trump's administration said you might, they might want to remove you uh, 
would you would you step down? And he said no, like a freaking meme. Awesome, dude. Uh, there's a thing where I was reading where he was the former uh, SEC chairman, um, Greenspan, I believe his name, Green something, and he was he wrote a book and it was I think maybe just a handful of years ago. He's like, yeah, I in the future I I fear that there's going to be a lot of pressure on the SEC SEC chair from Congress and if not the federal administration executive branch. And I'm like, oh, a president being able to wield interest rates, dude. That's weird. I'm not a fan of that. Me either. Plus a Republican Senate and probably a House and all the Supreme Court judges and lower court judges and basic community kind of from anything if you're in the executive office. Plus interest rates. But you got to ask yourself, how did we, why are we here? How did we get here? What, how, who fucked up so bad that this is, that the American people voted for this? Because uh, this was like, this is, cycles, uh, man. there's, there's cycles and then there's winning the popular vote and the electoral college <laughs> after inciting interaction, <laughs> insurrection. <laughs> like, come on. Like, this was like a clear statement. Someone fucked up. Populism, dude. In inequality. Uh, which comes with freaking time in an empire, <clears throat> somewhat inevitable, a little bit, uh, and you get people grasping for some kind of loud character that says, "We will fight for you." I wonder what other countries think. All I want, which I don't think this administration has said anything yet, is the federal debt to come down. Dude, can we grow some GDP? That's the only thing that matters in, in the administration. But, oh, yeah. I mean, doesn't the GDP grow year over year? Well, but we're just still in debt because we overspend. The margin to go. Like, like, GD, like the tech. Only thing that we got we got a bitch in tech sector that's just propping up our GDP like butter. Like fucking hot salsa on a wonderful, wonderful day. Summer day, as long as we keep making awesome. bitching, <laughs> as long as we keep making bitching phones, bitching <laughs> software. What we're gonna do? We have to go over the phones, dude. Bro, fucking bitching AI, bro. Like, just make fucking. Hopefully, this AI shit pays off. Because if it does, then right, that's what people. Yeah. Hope. But it's also like you have these companies already hedging their bets in other countries. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Like, who's like going in? We we just have like so many companies with just like so much fucking cash, and they can just burn it on AI. Like, there is no way to be competitive in this in this space unless you just have piles of capital. Chips. Yeah. Well. uh, Yeah. Let's uh, ask uh, GPT to you know. How to make people more healthier, happier, and may- spend more money and make more money. Chat GPT is crazy, dude. Use it too much. It's definitely beat my Google. I don't even fucking... Like, I have it, like, embedded into my coding software. I just talk to it like a human, and it just does it. And it wasn't working the other day, and I was like, bro, I can't fucking code. Oh, like, no. What the fuck? Ooh. <laughs> I'm fucked, Ooh, dude. Dude, that is, uh, is going to be quite the... The linchpin for probably just society going forward. Or yeah, I was like, it might as well use fucking Wix. The fuck? Cyber, cyber uh, security. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, no, that'll just make those jobs worth more, I think. You know, that's what I'm saying. Close, yeah, closer to the metal, dude. And basically, like the new, you know, uh, combative thing between countries. Yeah. Cause all I can do is keep learning. This is true. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Okie dokie, Mick. I'll see you later. <laughs> uh, I got, I got nothing else. Bitcoin all time high. Sick, dude. Keep it going. Uh, uh let me see. What else can we we, we toss in here real quick? Um, I saw a, I listened to a podcast years Fed, ago. Fed cut, by the way. Bank of England and American Fed cut interest rates. Oh, apparently inflation is just like not even a thing anymore. Like we're chilling. Uh, 
is like pre-pandemic level now, but we'll see how it goes into. Isn't it crazy how we just like kicked inflation in the ass after printing money for free? Yeah, like, I got to do is fire everybody and then people don't buy stuff and then prices come down. Um. Also, should we be worried about Elon Musk tweeting we should prepare for a couple of years of economic hardship? People have been saying that for a while, and I agree. 26, 27 is going to be hard. Does he mean uh, uh, when there's like a mass deportation and then we just cut 88 <laughs> trillion billion out of GDP? No, I mean, <laughs> people lose their jobs. Maybe, <laughs> or, but I mean, like there's no. People have been, I think jobs report has actually been bad for a minute but yeah people have been saying and there's farmers that are forecasted 26 and 27 to be bad for a while uh yeah jobless claims are up because of as long as i everything as long as i keep getting this youtube money like youtube money new money um YouTube money, new money. or wait, mr bro, beast is up to need to call falling Fall, cool, falling below 4%. Non-farm productivity increases 2.2%. Unit labor costs up 1.9%. Productivity, I don't know. Jobless claims. Headline says rose, but someone said declined. Um, but no, finance people have been saying 26 and 27 will uh, not be fun for a lot of people. Oh, okay. Well, you know, they said 22 and 23, too. So, which is it, buddy? Because obviously it wasn't those years. Well, you know. You keep calling and it goes down eventually. Well, it bet, I mean, it bet. Yeah, it does. Every decade or so. Sounds like they're just calling a regular cycle. Yeah, I mean, that is precisely. Um, and NVIDIA just keep making chips. Goes up, crash happens, goes up a lot, then another crash, and then a little more up, but at a lesser percentage. That's usually how it works. Um, yeah, grab some NVIDIA, grab some Microsoft. Everybody hope Apple does better. Not a, not financial advice. Oh, this is. Just be talking. Yes, sir, man. I got nothing left. On KSON country. Nothing left. Yeah. I got it. NVIDIA. Let's get it, dude. Buy it all you got. Is at 3.6 trillion market cap. They beat off play. After Trump win. Beat off play. This is from Reuters. Love Reuters. Big Reuters fan, dude. NVIDIA rallied high on Thursday. Boom. The first company in history to surpass a stock market value of $3.6 trillion as Wall Street extended a rally sparked by Donitos, Trumpitos, returned to Casa de Blanco. <laughs> the dominant AI chip maker shares rose 2.2%, lifted by broad investor optimism, tax cuts, lower regulations after the Republican candidate's election victory. Quick pause. Yeah. Did you see the video of the guy blowing his hands off after the Dodger game? Yeah, kind of. I saw someone do it. I saw someone drop a random that shit firework. Was wild. Dude, you don't be dropping random fireworks in a crowd. Lame. This guy blew his fucking hands clean off. I, it was like something out of Family Guy. There was a football player that did that. He, he, uh, uh, blew a finger off. Still played football. That's fucked. Giants. Anyway, back to NVIDIA. Speaking Drop, of blowouts. Drop the firework where I was in a crowd. Like, I wouldn't know right away if it was a firework. I haven't seen fireworks like that. Anyways. People were doing fireworks. Anyways. Like that one, dude. Imagine <laughs> being an American and, like, not under, like, a, like a dictator and then Celebrating with a firework that someone won. There's also a guy on. <laughs> shout out, shout out to this guy. I like his content a lot. Uh, one of the business guy. I think he's, I don't know, business, <coughs> uh, business school or something on uh, Patrick Bet David's 
network of stuff. Oh yeah. Um, the white guy, older white guy with glasses that does the like in-depth reviews or uh, deep dives on companies. You know him? Uh huh. Anyway, no. good stuff. But he was like, he was like, yo, dude, this is this this is about freedom, all right? This is about market businesses having freedom back, and he started crying a little bit. Oh yeah, you posted that. Come on. Or you sent that to me. I thought that was a little silly. Everything's a little bit silly. A little, a little silly, but you know, if I had a good tagline for America, millions in the stock market too, <laughs> I'd probably be crying as well. Everything's a little bit silly. All right, continue. Nvidia is so yeah. big. Dude. Um, Nvidia is so big. Whoop dee daisy. Um, Chat GPT is so cool. It can do so much. <laughs> that's that's. We still that's can't give it. Kinesa. <laughs> is that it? Is that no, name? I don't know. Um, it's big. I'm still wondering when the payoff will come because it's getting pretty far up there. What do you mean? Three point six six trill. What do you mean payoff? Like when will um when will the value be experienced? Like I'm experiencing value now through AI for sure, but is it generating three point six six trillion dollars plus worth of value? I'm not sure about that yet. I'm reading per a, se by an author named Peter Oppenheimer. Uh, Peter C. Oppenheimer. The C matters if you. Go to Amazon and do just Peter Oppenheimer. It's a guy that uh, found spirituality in India. A what? A what, man? Anyways. Whoa. Peter, I, I don't know. I don't know if you can say it anymore. Uh, Peter C. Oppenheimer, a follow-up to his book, uh, A Long Goodbye, B-U-I. This book is called Any Happy Returns, and it's about larger cyclical happenings uh, in society and markets uh, and bubbles as well. You see when a technology is new and very helpful to society, uh, a bubble happens. A lot of companies are over, overvalued. A bubble pops. A few companies lead the way. And then the, that technology kind of leaves the lane of what the technology is and helps other industries and sectors and he was saying that probably helps like healthcare and i forget the other one specifically um but that probably will or other industries will probably see the value of uh able to generate more money and efficiency via ai i would find the page where it's at but the book's far away and I don't want to get up, but uh, is it going to take jobs? You think, or create jobs? I think this is probably said when horses got taken by cars, but I just think there's. Can I, think, do I think, my fucking dishes. I don't know if this is lagging because of my low battery. I kind of feel like it is. Are you back or no? Not really. Um, I kind of feel like a lot of jobs are just going to be lost. Well, fuck. Yeah, and like I said, I'm sure that you was. You think I got an art bad. degree? <laughs> <laughs> uh, new industries, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it works itself out, but or just the middle class is dead and inequality rises. It's probably how it will end up you don't ever just drop everything you just go live in a cabin in the forest in Yosemite or something everybody. no I kind of like infrastructure of society but I just want to be alone I'm usually alone but uh, I would I would like some farmland uh, I, there was an article I'll click it's on too many people <laughs> in the farm uh, the uh, best places for wealthy Americans to leave America and go to um, countries rich American leave 
All right, didn't work. Where would you go to a country if you were to get there? Out of America. Um, maybe short term, maybe somewhere like uh, actually, nah, I don't know. I really like fucking like south of France, beach vibes over there. I feel like Or... I'm good off the French government. I haven't heard the best of things over there. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of like. I would go for like a year, maybe like. I still want to be an American citizen and all that shit. Because, like, when shit hits the fan with Russia, I do not want to be in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Latin America, dude. Australia, perhaps. Australia. Yeah, fuck. I'm good off those spiders. Ah, well. I'm good uh, off that shit. This, that shit's fucking this, fifth. Uh, a list of countries that will, with a big enough investment, give you citizenship. So if you... put in a minimum amount of capital in these countries, they give you citizenship after a certain amount of holding period of this investment. Um, we're talking big hitters here. We're talking Malta, Turkey, Dominica, Granada, St. Kitts, and Nevis. Shout out Mod, Stoney, 6'5", and Boney. I need ammo! That's a Those country country. sound awful. And St. Lucia, dude, that's been in so many rap songs. Saint Lucia. Yeah, it's been in a future song. Oh, okay. Well then, I stand corrected. Um, same idea. Temporary residency in Greece, in Italy, Portugal, Spain. Five hundred k euros will get you a three-year validity permit, and uh, no freedom of movement into other countries, though. But I wanted to find this list of where people are Wait, going. so 500k to be a prisoner in another country? <laughs> Not freedom of movement meant you can go to other countries as well. Like, oh, oh, thank God. Free, free, free. Thank God they're letting me leave. Like, you can just walk in. Oh, Citizen. so it's like a, a Disneyland hopper. <laughs> um, I can't find this list, but I'm a Spain guy, which is probably the same kind of worries you'd have with the French government, but I love a Conil, dude, not to, I don't know, so many people were, will go there since I said it, but Conil's sick. Sevilla, sick. Oh, it's Conil. Is that some food or something? It's the best, dude. It's a city. It's a fish town. Oh. Probably have to drive somewhere else if you want to do things, but if you're just chilling, looking on your computer, maybe buy a local soccer team, a bar perhaps, farmland out in the country. Oh, you enjoy that. I'll be in Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's going tanning on the topless beach. So many topless beaches. Uh, yeah. I can't find this list, and I would like to a lot. Um, abortion kind of sucks, dude. And that was the, the other things we didn't talk about. I would like the choice to abort a baby reasonably. No, no. You do what I say. I... <laughs> <laughs> uh. Dude, on the ballot for California was banning same-sex marriage. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I'm surprised California didn't vote to raise the minimum wage. There's some. There's a. There's a lot of taxes on on the props, and uh, a lot of things for. Uh, one of the, one of the things for it was like, headlined, no indentured, slavery for the. Uh, Inmates not getting paid for doing work. Oh, yeah. Just, um, you there know. was that. There's a rent control one. I think all the things just added up to more taxes. <laughs> <laughs> We're tired of it. We're tired of it. No wonder it all, no wonder California almost flipped. We're done with it, Gavin. I, I, a lot of uh, taking liberal family as a anecdote. Yes, they are tired of taxes. No one's talking to us. God damn it. Fucking. I I am very, very shocked that Cardi B and J-Lo endorsements couldn't push her to victory. Dude, they just. Got I felt like they were talking to me. I didn't even hear J-Lo. Yeah. Uh, just... Cardi, didn't, wasn't Cardi red? Oh, I'm thinking of Amber Rose. Oh, no. Amber Cardi Rose did it, fucking... dude. Amber Rose. Cam uh, Cardi B's teleprompter wasn't working. So for like two minutes, she just. 
didn't say anything. Like she didn't know what to say, dude. She was waiting for the fucking puppeteer to come stick his hand up her ass. <laughs> so she would know what to say. Get the bag, Cardi. It's all good. It's like, bruh, dude. You're like, like what? what is she, like 20 something? Is she younger? Or older? She has to be like 31 now. 32. Get the bag. She's just not, not an intelligent person. It's all right. Great music, bro. Bag, bro. Okay, music. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm more, uh, I'm really into Ice Spice. I think she is. Better, better, better tracks. Uh, My opinion. I think they go harder. Harder than they trap, eh? Yeah. You ever seen Taylor Swift live? No, I haven't. I heard she puts on a show. Right. Even the Taylor endorsement couldn't save her. Yeah. Even because I told you, dude, all those white Swifties are fucking Trump supporters. <laughs> I mean, she did start country. Like, they know their roots. <laughs> oh my God. They Dude, love Taylor, but they love Jesus more. I, I put up on uh, when when Hinchcliffe did the Puerto Rico joke. I was like, "Dang, dude, you're gonna you're gonna mobilize Bad Bunny supporters." That's no, that's that'll that'll flip. Bad Bunny, bro. <laughs> Is he even American? <laughs> <laughs> he had a lot of followers online, dude. Oh Jesus, dude! What happens when influencer marketing is your freaking campaign strategy, bro? Just fucking go on Rogan, <laughs> just suck it up. Apparently, she ended up twenty million in debt after raising a billion dollars for this campaign. Oh no! Imagine if she was running the country with that kind of business strategy. Oh no, more debt, dude! <laughs> you got to go bankrupt seven times. Like <laughs> sounds like she was the CEO of WeWork. <laughs> you got to go bankrupt is a lot better than debt, dude. Bankrupt, you just you it goes back to the government. I'm uh, just writing some great material on this run right now. Hmm? So, right, right, getting some good jokes, right, getting oh. some good ideas for jokes. Nice. When's the last yeah. time you hit the stage? I have four percent in my battery. It's been a couple of weeks. Damn, bro, you couldn't grab your charger during the break. My charger is currently in my ass. Focus right, uh, two eye focus right, I believe, maybe even a four eye or something. You're telling me you only have one USB C charger in the house? No. I'll go get it, dude. Let me uh, give you an article. You can read about it. We're potting, bro. What the uh, fuck? We are potting, dude. It's Joe Button up, too. It is Joe Button. I wonder it's who still part of the, uh, the intro, dude. Well, I know who we voted for. Who? <laughs> who do you think? Uh, RFK. No. Who? Trump. Probably, of course, dude. dude Button is for sure a New Jersey Republican. <laughs> Easily, Jeez, dude. don't get into a debate with him. <laughs> you're just gonna end up with a lot of saliva on your face. The gift of gab, dude. Fuck, dude. Uh, talk about the Clippers or something. The Warriors is the best team ever. <laughs> hey guys, I just want to talk about how the Clippers kicked the Warriors' ass last time. Um. The Warriors definitely suck, and they should definitely work on their chops if they're ever going to step into Boat Boy territory again. Um, if you are a, a Warriors fan, not only are you a fascist, <laughs> not only are you a communist. I forgot I have no outlet over here. Oh, that's... <laughs> It might be a short episode today, folks. You can hear me. Here we yeah. go. Yeah, this is this is what this is pod. We pod now, nah, dude. Hit the hit the joint. Can you hear me? Yeah, I sure can. Holy shit! I was just telling my <laughs> friends here about how much the Warriors suck. Oh, I heard, dude. Yeah. Now I'm just literally facetiming with you. Yeah, the Warriors. <laughs> the Warriors uh, almost got as bad Listen, of a beating as Kamala did. Let me let me say something. Yeah. I don't want my family in the background. Gross. Oh, God. Um, Clay Thompson went to Facebook and called Luca his new splash bro. That sounds gay as hell. Dude, that's like your <laughs> ex. You've ever heard. Your ex doing lame stuff. Anyways. Doing lame stuff like what? Like going on Facebook and saying... This guy is actually the best dick I've ever had. Oh, well, because it curves. Um, yeah, mine's pretty crooked. This Warriors, 
All-time best Warriors, dude. Doing better than the Clippers. Clippers suck. Um, Clippers are obviously... Oh, my God, they're 4-4. Four and four. <laughs> And Warriors right, are 7-1. So get wrecked, dude. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's yeah. early in the season. Um, Mavericks, yeah, it is, it is so wild to <laughs> keep up with a sport league of 82 games with the, <laughs> the first eight games. Damn. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get over the Avengers. I'm calling me a bigot. Did, was there actually an Avengers thing? It was a, like a fucking... It was like they were all FaceTiming each like, other. Like COVID? <laughs> yeah, like literally like that. And they each, like once the check's cleared, they each got onto the, their little Zoom call. Yeah, dude. And they were talking about Clippers voting. don't work with politics. I was like, bro, like, come on. Like, why don't they get it yet? Bruh, go well, on Joe Rogan is free. <laughs> It is. LOL. LOL. It's okay. Who do you think will run next time? Dude, Dem should... I mean, Cuban has been freaking teeing up for months now. Dem should get my, uh, Cuban in. Good luck. You don't think Dem he would? I think he would, but Democrats have never voted in a billionaire. Oh, this is a new era, bro. We're we're back to uh, conservative liberals and conservative Republicans. You think so? Oh, I don't know. I think it's gonna push the left lefter. Uh, no, I have faith. People go back to the middle. <laughs> I, we couldn't even get a fucking conservative who pretended to be a Democrat who was a billionaire as mayor in L.A. The crypto guy. The guy that owns the Grove. What's his name? I don't know. Caruso. Dude, people would vote for Cuban. I think Gavin Newsom is a better chance than Cuban. Yeah, but he sucks, dude. <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's elitist, but he's not, like, known for being rich. So I feel like he would have a better I chance. Like like, Cuban, I don't like him either. But Cuban's whole thing is, I'm rich, I'm a billionaire. Like, that's his personality trait. But he's at least charismatic. Yeah, so so was Kamala. I, who? Kamala, Kamala, Kamala. If we if we actually that'll just like if he was okay if he like wasn't known for being super wealthy like if he was just a regular guy. Sure. I think people like, are over that, bro. People don't care. No, yeah, people don't care, but Democrats care, bro. I don't think so. They're so fuck the rich, dude. Uh, those cats don't vote. Oh, yeah, they're, they're too busy crying on TikTok. Yes, dude. I feel like that's like 7% of the population. I don't know, dude. It, I could be wrong, but like, I think... Most he, people... he would do great as a Republican. Who, Cuban? Yeah. Yeah, but you know. He probably secretly wants to. Yeah, he, it is an interesting choice. I mean, didn't Donald flip flop or something? Yeah, he was a dumb for a minute. It's crazy. It's probably it might be easier a couple of cycles from now to to run Democratic because there's no fun people anymore. Yeah, if like somebody like with a brain like popped up, yeah. I'm telling you, if we just get like a normal gay dude that's not fucking like, yeah, super left field, like has some sense. Works out. <laughs> I like Buttigieg. I would, I would be okay with Buttigieg. Wasn't he the guy? I don't know. Is he the Texas guy? Oh, that's Beto. No. Yeah, Pete Buttigieg. Uh, where is he from? I just thought he was normal and not annoying. He's from Indiana. Damn. Wow. I don't know. He's Navy. Yeah. We'll I mean, see. dude. In all the old normal running politicians are like old and dead now so there's like has to be a new cycle coming up a new crop what about michelle obama she's old dude she way for, for baron versus way, sasha way younger than trump trump <laughs> way younger than most uh, of the guys that were running yeah yeah but she's also not a politician, not that that matters. Yeah, it's it's kind of like kind of nepotism, a little Schwarzenegger. Uh, uh, what was I about to say? 
Oh, bro. Yeah, no, are you ready for freaking Baron versus Sasha in a few years? Trump kid versus Obama kid? No way. Obama's kids are artists. They would never I know. know the politics. <laughs> they all went to USC. Yeah. They went to Harvard, dude. <laughs> Well, one of them did. uh, they're already She making she movies made a movie or something and she under changed different her last name. name. Yeah. I don't blame her, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I would too. People, kids 20 years from now won't know she's Obama's daughter. Yeah, she's like, fuck all that shit. I don't need your social... I don't need your Secret Service, Dad. <laughs> Leave, uh, leave your I mean, goons yeah, at but home. there's a, they need to start uh, grooming some new uh, dogs for the pony show on both sides. Yeah. Trump's going to be dead in 20 years. Maybe, maybe less. I mean, what He doesn't is he? look that he doesn't look that great. Bro, he looks, he was so tired at that speech, bro. Bro, he just wants to take a nap, bro. <laughs> He's like, oh, there's more work to do. Oh, my guy was tired, bro. He had to be up there with Melania. He's like, yo, I literally got shot at. And I got to go out there and do stuff for you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Damn, you 78, don't give a... bro. See, what the <laughs> think he's going to pardon Diddy. Oh, my God, dude. There was a lot of that stuff, too. He was pardoning all the, the Kardashian and West stuff. In the, I think he basically... Said anybody who was on weed can get out of it. Uh, Sounds good to me. I'm with it, bro. Um, Hey, everyone that Kamala put in jail, I'm taking out. uh, I don't know. It has a felon. LOL. I wonder what it's like for one day. I just want to like switch places with somebody that's running for president super close in the race just to experience what it's like to just wake up and you just go from place to place to place to place. No downtime. People just always in your face. You got to pretend to be happy. You could have the worst day of your life, but you just got to keep doing it. And then you get to the fucking job and it's nothing like campaigning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious, <laughs> dude. yeah. Yeah, that is that is quite the stark difference of like, uh, what do you do with freaking economic policy? Go watch this army guy shoot this other freaking army guy. And then every three years pop out and say, what up? What if you get sick? Can you like what do you call out? I, I, I guess so. California governor, Gavin Newsom calls special session to protect liberal policies from Trump presidency. This is from triblive.com. Everybody's favorite thing. Liberal Uh, snowflake can I get dot a net. plug-in? Does that ChatGPT plug-in auto-summarize articles? There was a plug-in that that existed, and then they took it away. IDK. There was a plug-in that you could just go to a thing. Um, Newsom Thursday called for lawmakers to convene a special session ahead of Trump president to safeguard states' progressive policies. Meanwhile, Attorney General in blue states across the country announced they were also gearing up for a legal fight. Newsom said, dude, I'm sick of this rhetoric, bro. If it's true, cool, but like, Newsom said, the freedoms we hold dear in California are under attack, and we, will, I mean, I guess abortion. Bring back two dollar gas. <laughs> okay, I I actually I actually do want to um talk about the abortion debate. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Um cuz I'm hearing a lot of I'm hearing a lot of um oh, what about rape? What about incest? What about to save the mother's life? But from my understanding, in every state, if that were the case, you can get an abortion. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm So, That's cool. what is the, what do they want, like, federal, every state, no matter what, abortion, or... Right, okay. But if I was a chick or a dude, Jesus Christ. And I know like don't use abortion as contraception. Cool, cool, cool. I agree, kind of. No, I do agree. Um, but I It's would, kind of nut, dude. but I would surely love the option to not have a kid if I didn't 
wasn't in the position to have one. Are you okay? Follow up, follow up question. But you can. It's just in some states you can't. Yeah. But you So can. you go to You see, yeah, you got to go somewhere else, but you don't have to move so my thing there. is that for like if you're poor and basically stranded, sure, that kind of sucks. Um and you just have more kids and more I don't know. Uh is that true though? Is it get, freaking you come back and you're banned from stuff or you can just go anywhere else? I think you can just go anywhere else. It's like if if you go to Arizona, or if you live in Arizona and come to fucking California, buy some weed and smoke it, you don't get arrested when you go back to Arizona. Uh, you know, put it on a list in your Gustavo. <clears throat> nope. All right. All right, all right. Just a little road trip. It's good service. Road trip to the next state. Yeah, how long does it take to get to the next state? Like less than a day, most places. You have a you have a company. You go back and forth. Like, is that illegal? That sounds illegal. Come on. Transporting person people for that purpose? I don't know. That might be a little gray area ish. Wow. Come on, what are we doing? I'm not sure. Is I'm not sure. Zoom freaking cutting early or has this always been like this? I know there is a there's a lot of rules. against doing things crossing that involves crossing state lines. Sure. Well, let a guy nut, dude, come on. But no, that is wild nutting. Wildly nutting is done. Guys, just pull <laughs> the fuck out, come please. on. What's so hard? Imagine. You don't have to be acting like it's so hard I'm to pulling pull out, out, bro. bro. Like, Some dog. mistakes happen, but like, you know. I've never, It's like... this is getting a little, but never in my life, like, It's, it's I'm going to keep on. it and be like, what, dude? Yeah. What are you talking And the about? few times I have, I regretted it. My goodness, I couldn't even. But it was like, it was like, it was like, oh, like, oh, I'm on birth control. You know, I don't which believe works, anybody, but, but dude. then you, but the, I know that's the thing. You're putting your trust in another person. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, I forgot. I mean, it's like, you're playing with like, and then I got to play For myself. real. It's like, dude, whenever I want to just. stay in that sweet sweet cream i just think of my bank account and i pull right out It's ridiculous. So, as a as a strong proponent of celibacy uh, self servicing, and then freaking oh oh god and uh, all thoughts i am about anything else, all the texts and calls. <laughs> uh, um what was i gonna ask well Apparently, apparently, like you got just like a roster now. Like, do you, do you use condoms or what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> What's going on, dude? I'm you think watching. you, you, you was listening this deep into Rickard Bond, dude? <laughs> I was gonna say because I like to ask like people's methods. Whenever somebody gets accidentally pregnant, I ask, "Were you just getting nutted in relentlessly?" And they always say yes. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that's wild. Yeah. That sucks too. Like, imagine you're a woman and homie just doesn't pull out. That sucks. Wait, wait, say that again? You're a chick having Uh-huh. sex, and then guy just doesn't pull out. And you're like, yo, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, that sucks. But also, too, also, too, like, when you're a girl, Yeah. you can see, and feel, so I've heard, the condom being put on, so you know. Like, you, you have the chance to be like, I see the protection happening. When you're a dude... You gotta take her word for it that I'm she's talking taking obviously the pill. no condoms, yeah, that's wild, dude. Come Oh on. yeah, no condoms. Yeah. I can I don't have a hella numbers, but I've never used a condom. You've never used <laughs> what? like I said, What? I don't have hella. <laughs> That's actually wild. You're not afraid of STDs. I'd be talking for a long time, uh, so I ask Have you ever been checked? right before. No. Have you ever been scared? Or ever <laughs> Because a lot of a lot of them were dormant. Do you no. have No, dude. an HPV vaccine? What? Was that a question? 
Yeah, have you gotten that? No, yeah, apparently that's a... 70% of people apparently have HPV. And men don't get symptoms, but women do. So, uh, sucks for them. <laughs> <laughs> Did even nature think it? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's even like, nature put the percentages on the dome? Dude, someone says, some girl was like, oh, um, it sucks that fucking... I, I, that women finish like after men it fucking sucks and then a dude was like it's almost like a woman coming isn't a prerequisite to creating life <laughs> uh, sure is fun though yeah it's fun it's cool it's doing all the work it's getting all sweaty and you're just like fuck now I gotta shower It's like fuck, dude. And then you got to be like, "Yo, you got to keep this a secret. We could not tell mom and dad." Oh, what is uh, this? dark Rick, racial humor, dude? Come Rick on, <laughs> come on, get out of town. <laughs> you better keep your mouth shut, cuz little cuz. Oh my god, That's disgusting. <laughs> Incest jokes. It's what's for dinner. Oh well. This might be the first sex talk we've ever had on the pod. The first what? Sex talk. Oh, I think it's time. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're old enough. <laughs> I think it's time. Well, yeah, it was because of previous episodes, like, no experience, but now that you're a man. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. This <sighs> guy, Trumpito, tweeted a swamp the vote USA.com link. I don't care what that is, but Jesus, dude. Great domain. <laughs> dude, Trump is so funny, bro. He's kind of funny, dude. He looks funny. He looks like a freaking box. He looks like he's a freaking bobblehead. Someone put a post of the video where he was like on Reddit and they were talking about like the gay vote for Trump. <laughs> Someone was like, um, the video was like, uh, He was like, where where are my gays at? And then like a group of gay guys were like, right here. And he was like, you don't look gay. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody like commented like some extra lines. And then he said like the gay guys magically transform into fucking flamboyant gays. And then Trump is like, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, dude. No one yeah. can deny. Pretty humorous. Humorous, dude. Just it was such a boomer response. <laughs> hey, uh, <coughs> stupid boisterous New York business. Fuck. Oh, and Riot, I am like I said. Those boys and girls would have gone wild if Mans didn't get Trump in office. I think. Oh yeah, it would probably would have been real bad. <clears throat> Insurrection part two. Yeah, I know. Libs still have time. All right. You know, keep the, the building burning down just two days, two to three days. Not that I'm inciting anything. Maybe chill on the the super, super out-of-pocket shit. All right, just keep it to a nice little Dodgers World Series win. You know, maybe, maybe... Maybe... Pushing puberty blockers on children is it as popular as some think? I thought there was an abortion truck at one of the DNC things. There was a no, really. I don't know if it has abortions, but I saw a line. It was it was like a food truck. You get in line, man. <laughs> I'm not positive. Dude. Oh, were they having a raffle where the winner got a free abortion? <laughs> that too. That too. Probably not the best campaign ever. I saw a really um. I'm not gonna talk about it on the air, but I'll send it to you. It was a cartoon, and it was. Pretty, uh, it, it summed up this race pretty well. I'm gonna send it to you right now so I can get your reaction live on the pod. You made it One of the best things I think Apple's ever done is implement text search into photos. I haven't, oh, the, um, the name, you have two minutes, one minute. Where is this? Let me see. I'm just gonna type because it's comic. I'm just gonna text in the text from the comic. Abortion. Oh, oh, there we go. One result. 
just gonna send this over to Ricker. Wrap up here, on Ricker and Bubba. All right, waiting for that to send over the airways. Okay, looking. Take a look at his tattoos too. Looking, looking. I mean, this is, I don't know why you would. Can I say this? I guess not that. Uh, it's just the theme of it is kind of, but you can go for it. Oh, it's like oh, okay, I get it. Homie's like beating a lady. Yeah. I'll have to digest it later. <laughs> uh, Ricker and Bond, everybody.